Hey everyone, welcome to our first species spotlight of 2023. We're going to be starting off with the, uh, or with a look at the Harlequin rasbora, Trigonostigma heteromorpha. Uh, this fish originates uh, from southern Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, also found on the uh, greater islands of, uh, or the Sunder greater islands of uh, Borneo and Sumatra. Uh, the harlequin rasbora comes from habitats that are uh, basically kind of peat swamps or uh, uh, forest river streams originating in that kind of environment. Uh, the water is typically stained uh, with a lot of tannins. Uh, it is an environment that's exposed to monsoon rains. So that degree of staining or amber tinting of the water does vary depending on the time of year and the actual obvious, obviously the composition of the substrate and surrounding areas of the, uh, uh, of the stream itself. Uh, typically mid to dimmer lighting conditions exist in their habitat because of a lot of marginal vegetation and overhanging, uh, overhanging trees and, and forest canopy. Um, the typical type of water chemistry found in their natural habitat is slightly acidic to neutral type of, uh, of water. Uh, they like to inhabit areas where there is some water movement and uh, in those areas you're going to find a lot of dense growing thickets of, uh, of plants like cryptocarines for example. Uh, there is some variation in uh, different populations of harlequin rasboras, the originating populations, um, depending on the country that uh, they originate from. As far as harlequin rasboras today uh, that are available in commercial trade, uh, those are really all farm-raised uh, fish. You, you don't have fish really being exported uh, from those countries anymore uh, for the fish that we buy here in North America for sure. Now let's talk a bit about the behavior, tank size, coloration, and compatibility of these fish as a community member or a community tank member uh, when it comes to the Harlequin rasbora. Now typically, um, you know, you want to maintain this fish. It is a schooling species, so keeping them in at least a group size of 8 to 10 individuals is recommended. And for that, you want to have a minimum aquarium size of about 20 gallons or 80 liters. That's important to respect. They do like to school. They do like to move around. Uh, so that's an important thing to be aware of. Uh, the types of uh, community tank uh, members or tank mates that they would do best with will be small to, you know, dwarf anabantids, even dwarf cichlids, smaller tetras, other small species of rasboras, and small peaceful bottom dwellers like corridors, for example, or some of the dwarf loaches would be fine too. Uh, the Harlequin Rasbora gets to be about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in length. It's a small fish. Um, the in centimeters, that's three to three point seven five centimeters. Um, the coloration of of both male and female is is very very nice, very intense. Uh, you've got a dark black to dark navy blue kind of. Uh, triangular patch on the back half uh, upper flanks of the fish very intense and it contrasts beautifully with the color with the copper colored surrounding area a bit of copper coloring into the fins and there tends to be a pinkish kind of a U at the upper half of the fish really really beautiful fish it's got a classic shape classic V caudal fin um, really really a great looking species of fish um, the type of uh, the type of habitat that you'd want to set up for har harlequin rasboras is really um, mid to dimmer lighting conditions. Planted would be preferred. Cryptocarines, aponogetans are a good idea as well. Um, Java fern is another good plant to include. <clears throat> Something with a sandy bottom, twigs, some leaf litter, and a moderate flow of water, as supplied by a typical, uh, you know, canister filter for the size of aquarium that you're going to be setting up. Talking about the water conditions that harlequin rasbora should be kept in, the preferred temperature range is between 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, right in the middle of that range is really the preferred uh, exact temperature for keeping them for the most part. Uh, the 
pH range that you want to maintain them at is about ranges between about 6 to 7.5. Uh, slightly acidic to neutral is really best. And when it comes to the hardness value, about 1 to 12 degrees hardness is the right value. Softer is better, obviously, for breeding, 1 or 2 degrees for general maintenance. Right in the middle of that range is really best at around 6, 5 to 6 degrees of hardness. Now, when it comes to feeding your Harlequin Rasboras, uh, they are really an omnivore, so feeding them a variety of smaller pellets, flake foods uh, that do contain some vegetable matter is suggested. Um, you can also give them some smaller frozen foods, Daphnia, brine shrimp, chopped up glass worms. Those, those would be great supplements a couple times a week if you can manage to do that. And I think the most important point to note about the actual, when you're actually feeding them every day, it's really preferable to give them a couple of very small feedings throughout the day uh, versus one or two larger ones. Really uh, little bits, um, three or four times a day, really much more natural way for Rasbora being a micro predator and feeding on different crustaceans and so forth in the water column. Uh, or larvae, you know, smaller amounts a little bit more frequently is better for them. In summary, we'd like to say that the Harlequin Rasbora is really one of our top favorite smaller schooling species. Uh, it's a very uh, hardy fish. It's easy for beginners to look after. I think the most important point is remember to keep them in a decent sized school. Uh, they don't have to be kept in a huge aquarium, a 20 gallon is fine for, for a decent sized school of them. Um, not only is it great for beginners, but it's great for the more advanced hobbyist who likes uh, to set up aquascape tanks with a lot of nice plants and has invested some time and energy into providing CO2 systems and lighting. Really a fish that covers all spectrums of, uh, of aquarium keepers. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and comment before until the next time. Thank you.